Our gay, well, in a sense, it, it was very much a, a treasure trail sort of concept that we were looking for. Um, and we've got as far as, we kind of came up with the concept, the overall concept, which was to have four different routes so that if you have large groups you can scale this up so if you have large groups of students moving around the building then not everyone is going to necessarily be at the same point at the same time because you've got four different scenarios going um, and there were some basic tasks that they had to complete because this is very much induction, it's orientation, you know, the, the, and finding their way around. So they had to conduct a catalogue search. And we, 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 we realised halfway through, we sort of thought, you know, we want to introduce an element of fun. So the way we sort of decided to do that, because obviously we were coming from very different circumstances, was to add a theme. So we decided it was... We started off with the idea of it being like a pub, like a library crawl. Yeah. So we sort of started off from a drinks perspective. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so we ended up with a martini, which is shaken, not stirred. <laughs> so which famous fictional spy drinks this? Use the library catalogue to find where the books on this hero are kept, and your next clue awaits you there. If you get stuck, ask at the library help desk. Again, to reinforce the idea that you know, for for new students, it's important to be able to ask. Um, following that, there. Oh, this one. So then we wanted them to actually go to another area of the of, of, of the library to locate a different space, and we chose computer rooms. Um, so they then have to. James Bond needs your help to decipher a clue. <laughs> locate the nearest computer room. Log in and go to the following website. And there was a code there that would help them to link to a different collection and that could be a class mark for example so then you're reinforcing again the idea of the class mark leading on to um, leading on to another area of the of the room um, we ended we, we um, is this linked to that one <laughs> yeah so the idea yeah. is that then that you would go to you, there would be like a puzzle to take you to a, to a certain area of the library where there would be some kind of ready-made objects that had RFID tags in them that were catalogued in a special way that if you went to the self-issue machine um, and then issued them to yourself, they, they would be catalogued with a message that would basically say, um, congratulations, go to the help desk to collect your prize. So it's kind of, um, um, and then that was, yeah. yeah, so it was quite a sort of short thing yeah. really, but it took us ages to <laughs> work it out. Yeah, it comes to that one. Um, but I think I think I think the principle of, of making sure that people can go to different locations holds holds up well, um, and each obviously it needs to be adaptable for each for each. Um, I mean, library. we were going to give them a plan of the library to sort of help them um, navigate their way around as well. And there would be other drinks that related to fictional characters. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all gin based? Soon as it like. So yeah, and it was library crawl. We decided. <laughs> uh, thank you. Any questions or comments on that game? Okay.